you barely see this line. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. We're going on a little adventure. We're going up to Mont Laurier. We're staying there a couple of days. I'm going to get you some footage from in the car, on the trail, with the guys. We're meeting up with a couple of YouTubers. Gary from Mud Brats, Snow Brats, and Mike Gouleets. Stick around, we're going to have some great times. Tomorrow's the big day. Hey guys, we made it to Mont Laurier. Here we are, beautiful Mont Laurier. Had a little problem on the way up. Yeah. Little trailer problem. So that appears to be rusted right on the bottom and split right on the top. So one strap, two straps, three straps. So we're gonna need a welder. So that's gonna be first order of business tomorrow. Just got into Tim Hortons for a coffee. We're waiting for Mike Gouleets to show up. This afternoon we're going riding. We're getting ready to start our first ride. We're outside the Quality Inn, beautiful Mont Laurier. We got a gorgeous sunny day. We're riding with Mike Gulitz. Last night we spent a few hours with Gary and the Mud Brats. So today we're shaping up to be a nice ride. We're riding up to Devil's Mountain. Stick around. All right, we got Mike Gulitz. Mike Gulitz here today. Tina. G&G Outdoors. G&G Outdoors. And the outdoor hobby guy. Where are we? We're Mont Laurier. Beautiful sunny day. Trails are perfect. Couldn't ask for more. Let me take this off. I look horrible with this one. There's no snow here. I brought man. the wrong Billy Clava. <laughs> this one is small, so I had to rip it. We got 224 Enduros, 900 ace turbos. And, and then we got Mikey's 900 like this Turbo so R. And then we got a GSX 600. <laughs> and uh, well, Gaetano, he was building his grave there, so we're all good. We'll get you some on the shot, on the trail shots. Setting? That's a lot lower, but you can see me. Yeah. Yeah? That's pretty good, right there. But I don't know if you're going to catch no, the windshield. Sit on it. So Let's see. Cold. Oh, that's good. You, you, you can, it just, you barely see this line. So if I put it this way, I'll get a bit of the speed. Pull it towards me, I'll get a bit of the speed. Yeah, but then you're not gonna get the top. You want me to adjust that for you? Yeah.
As you can see, we got a beautiful day here. We had a, a, a wonderful ride this day. The trails were absolutely spectacular. No overheating whatsoever. Good solid base with some granular to keep the sleds nice and cool. At this particular point in the ride, we're making our way up to Devil's Mountain in Mont Laurier. We stopped a few times and I actually got a couple of tips from uh, pro YouTuber Mike Galitz about uh, my camera and situation. So as you can see, we've got that situated perfectly. Much appreciated, Mike, really appreciate that. So this is the trail that's heading basically up to the top of Devil's Mountain. As you can see, we're passing a lake here. It's a great trail, absolutely stunning ride. Beautiful day, it was probably minus two that day. Gorgeous scenery, we had a fantastic time. Alright guys, so we're actually right at the base of the trail that leads right to the top of Devil's Mountain and as you can see, it was a bit of a bumpy ride to get up there. There's been a lot of guys that have zipped up that trail. It's uh, really hard not to fly up the trail as you can see what I'm doing here, but the scenery just absolutely turns spectacular. And I thought I'd share with you that that is like a permafrost that is building up on the trees there. It was really thick. I can honestly say that the video just absolutely doesn't do it justice. It is absolutely gorgeous, pretty, unbelievable, the scenery. Actually, I'm coming up on my wife there and I'm going to go by her. And it's crazy because I'm trying to slow down, but at the same time, I'm enjoying the rush of the, the scenery changing as quick as it is. As you can see, here we go. Look at that. Isn't that just spectacular? absolutely stunning the trail super wide it's got to be about 25 feet wide as we're going up the mountain I'm just coming up behind my wife there mike galitz is already way up in front of us and gaetano is right behind me so another super ride when we got to the top over here we had a lunch at that lookout shack which is just great they got great meal up there super tasty not garbage whatsoever i mean look at this scenery absolutely stunning just stunning you can't help but to slow down and take it all in we got the blue sky and the sun we couldn't have asked for a better day to ride and uh look at that unbelievable hope you guys are enjoying the video stick around there's more to come Right, guys so we just had a little lunch still up on the mountain we're gonna take off now head up to Rabaska Lodge check out the scenery see what's happening enjoying life life is beautiful
All right, guys, so we started down in Mont Laurier and worked our way up the 13 on the left there. Then we hung a right and took the local trails all around to the eatery, which is basically at the top of uh, Devil's Mountain. You can see it on the center of your screen. Then we took the 13 again, all the way up, took a left off the 322, took a right. We went into the Pouvery Fontainebrun, and that is not far away from the Auberge Robasca. Then we came straight down the backside there along the 322 all the way around, took a left, jumped back on the local trails, took that to the end, then jumped on the 13 and brought that right into Mont Laurier. So that's a look at what our ride was. It was a little over 170 clicks, just an absolutely epic ride. ride. Well guys, we're coming close to the end of the day and as you can see we're getting closer and closer to civilization coming out of the backwoods. So we're just about to pull up into Pouvery Club Fontbrun, which is a great spot for fishing. They've got an auberge there, beautiful uh, restaurant inside, really classic traditional with log cabin everywhere. And this turned out to be quite the situation. I ended up having issues with my sled at this final spot that we're going to pull into. So during the course of the day, I was having issues uh, with my, my sled starting intermittently, uh, sometimes waiting up to 20 minutes to get it started. So when we finally gassed up at this Pouvery and were ready to shove off and do the final leg down to the hotel, my sled wouldn't start at all. So again, uh, Mike Galitz came to the rescue and was able to bypass the solenoid so that we could get it running and I eventually ended up taking it out to BRP the next day and BRP in Mont Laurier couldn't help me out right away. They had a full schedule. So our trip got cut short. But anyway, we've since fixed the problem. The problem was basically a post that had broken off on the solenoid and uh, we're all good to go. So we've got a bit of a night ride through to finish up the video and uh, thanks a lot for watching guys. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Can't wait to see you on the next ride. We're a little low on snow, but uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Have a super week. All right guys, so we took a little stop at the uh, Pouvery Outfitter Fontaine just for a quick little drink. And then we're gonna get back on the, on the trails. Have a look at that place. Beautiful. Back at it. <laughs>